week's video, I'm going to show you guys healthy, low-calorie snacks you can get from Dollar Tree while dieting on a budget. An all-new series starts now. Dieting and being healthy can become expensive, especially when it comes to buying healthy foods. More times than not, the healthier food options can be two times as expensive than their unhealthy competitors. It really makes me sad when I see people having to sacrifice their health and fitness because of the expensive foods and they just can't afford to be healthy. It's not fair because everybody should have the option to be healthy if they really want to. That's why I'm making these videos to show you guys that you can diet and be healthy even while on a budget. In this week's video and in some future upcoming videos, I'm going to show you guys how to diet without using a lot of money so you guys can get the healthiest food options at the lowest prices. You guys are definitely going to want to stay tuned for these future videos, but enough talking, let's head right over so I can show you guys the healthy snack options I picked up from Dollar Tree. Guys, we are in the kitchen where the magic happens. Well, actually, there's two places in the house where the magic happens. That's the kitchen and the bedroom. But this isn't my OnlyFans page, and you're going to have to subscribe to my OnlyFans channel to see that. So, no, I'm just kidding. Please do not tell my wife I made that joke. She will kill me. Anyway, everything you see here, all eight items were a dollar, and they're low calorie, and they're healthy and great for your diet. Um, some more healthier than others. We're going to start off with the first one, which is the original beef jerky by Trails Best. None of these products are sponsored. I just picked them up at Dollar Tree, like I said. 70 calories per serving. A whole bag here is one serving, so you get to eat the whole bag for 70 calories. Your total carbohydrates would be 3 grams of carbs, and your protein's 11 grams. 11 grams of protein, 70 calories. That's a healthy snack for me. All your meats are always going to have a good amount of protein. Now we're going to go on to snack number two. Snack number two is going to be mini pretzels. You get six count of a lunch pack, so six bags in here. 50 calories per serving. A whole bag is a serving as well, so 50 calories for one bag. You're getting 11 grams of carbs per bag, and you're getting one gram of protein. So the protein's not great, and the carbs are all right, but 50 calories for one whole bag of pretzels is not bad. Pretzels are a pretty good diet food, especially if you do with some peanut butter or something like that. They're really good. I do recommend that. Now we're moving straight on into snack number three, and that is the No Shell Wonderful Roasted pistachios. There's 120 calories per serving. One bag is a serving. You get six grams of carbs and four grams of protein. You do get a pretty good amount of protein from nuts, but you have to be careful what kind of uh, nuts you get and stuff like that. Sometimes the pistachios, if you're not careful, can be really high in carbs. If you're now on to snack number four, which is the Junior Dippers. These are my favorite. I loved these as a kid, and I didn't know they were actually pretty healthy. You know, if you eat a lot of them like I did when I was a kid, though, they could become unhealthy. Everything's okay in moderation to an extent. Remember that when dieting. Moderation and consistency is important. For one serving, it's 60 calories, 8 grams of carbs, and 1 gram of protein. And 60 calories for a serving. A serving is one pack. You get five pretzels and the dipping cheese. So 60 calories for a pack is not bad, especially if you're traveling on the road or anything like that. This would be good for those police officers and private investigators that are in the stakeout and they want to stay healthy but they do like a little bit of a treat these will be awesome for you guys now on to snack number five one of my other favorites is the welch's fruit snacks these are made with real fruit it's 70 calories per serving 17 grams of carbs per serving and one gram of protein now the carbs on these in my opinion are high but the calories are low like i said while ago with the other snack if you're watching your carbs this is a little high in carbs but so are protein bars that I eat as well. So it's just really what you're watching and how you're dieting. One serving is one packet. I'll open it up and show you guys what a packet looks like. So you get this whole packet of fruit snacks for 70 calories. Now we're going to move on to snacks number six and seven, which I'm excited to try out because I've never had these before. Freeze-dried apple slices and so natural freeze-dried strawberries. For one serving in this, it is 60 calories, 15 grams of carbs, and zero grams of protein but you're getting a good amount of fruit for this. A whole serving is this whole bag. You get this whole bag for 60 calories and 15 grams of carbs. That's awesome, this bag is pretty full. There is some air, but you at least get half of this bag. So that is a pretty cool option for a snack as well, especially when you're on the go. They're light, you can pack them anywhere. You just don't wanna pack them in somewhere tight because they're probably gonna smash. 
And last but not least, it's not really a snack, but it is because it's a drink. But I'm going to throw it in here. That is almond milk. There's one quart, 32 ounces of almond milk here for a dollar. That is not bad at all. There are four servings per container with 90 calories per serving, 16 grams of carbs per serving, and one gram of protein per serving. This is honestly awesome if you're a milk drinker. You're going to save a lot of calories on almond milk versus regular milk. So I'm going to grab out a jug of regular milk and show you the calories on it and carbs and all that versus the calories and carbs on this. As you see here, we have the almond milk, vanilla flavored, and the regular best choice 2% reduced fat milk. So on the 2% reduced fat best choice milk, it's 120 calories per serving, which is one cup. You get 11 grams of carbs and 8 grams of protein. In your almond milk, you are sacrificing the protein and some carbs. You're going to have higher carbs in this almond milk than you are in this regular 2% milk. You can drink more of this versus this when it comes to calories. That is eight healthy snacks that you can pick up at Dollar Tree while dieting on a budget, low calories, healthy. As you guys see, this is a new series I'm starting called Dieting on a Budget because I think everybody should be able to diet no matter if you have the money to spend on all that expensive food or not. And that's what this is geared toward. This Since we showed you guys the snacks, we are going to taste test these and tell you guys what we think they taste like. And then we're going to talk about what we have coming up in this new series. The first thing we're going to try is the wonderful roasted salted pistachios. Let's see what it tastes like. Those are pretty good. I like them. I'm not a big pistachio fan. I'm more of a peanut fan. But these are really good and I definitely eat them. So I do recommend these. Second snack we're going to try is the Welch's fruit snacks. See what it tastes like. They smell good. Those taste better than the sweeter ones that are unhealthy. I really like these and they have more flavor than the unhealthy ones so that's a bonus. Definitely recommend these as well. Now we're going to move on to one of my favorites I think it's going to be is the Trails Best Original Beef Jerky. This one's really good. You get just different size pieces here. I'll give you guys an example like there's a piece. There's probably about 20 25 30 pieces in here so that's pretty good for the calories that you get for this now we're going to move on to the junior dipper snack it's the pretzel sticks with the cheese you get five pretzel sticks and the cheese to dip it in for 60 calories so we're going to try it these were always my favorite as a kid so i know i'm going to like it i can make a whole video of me trying to open this crap because it's like child proof and i'm a grown-up child that's the size of the pretzels dip it in some cheese These are good, but the pretzels are stale like they've been sitting for a while. Check your dates before you get this stuff. Sometimes if it's set out longer, if you find the newest date out there, it's going to be fresher. But these are really good, and they've always been my favorite. Now we're going to do the Snyder's mini pretzels. That's what the pretzel looks like. It's pretty big, normal sized pretzels. They're not really mini, just the bag mini, I guess. These are really good and fresh. The pretzels are big and fluffy. So they taste really good, so I definitely recommend this one. Now we're going to go on to the So Natural Dried Fruit Snacks. For the whole bag, it's 60 calories of each. We've got the apple slices and the strawberry slices. So we're going to try them. We're going to do the apple slices first. So it's just pretty much dried apple slices, good size. So we're going to try it. These are fire. I like these. These are really awesome. I probably I could probably put away this whole bag, so that's probably what I'm gonna do after this video is over. But yeah, I recommend this the most out of anything I've tried so far. So let's try the strawberries. Now we're trying the strawberries. If I can get it open, I don't know what it is with me in opening packages. I can't. It's like childproof. I tell you, I'm an adult child. That's what the dried strawberries look like. I'm not a big big strawberry fan unless they're like in a smoothie or something. But we'll try it. So the strawberries have a punch, a crunch, and a kick to them. They're a little sour, but they're real good. Strawberries are sour in general to me. But uh, definitely my favorite would be the apple slices. But these are awesome. And uh, yeah, I recommend you guys try them both out. All the snacks that we're trying and that are in this video, the names will be linked in the description down below as well with the timestamps and everything. So if you want to, you can just go and check that out. So you know what to look for at Dollar Tree. But now we're going to head over and try the last thing on our list, which is the almond milk. Okay, so last but not least, we're gonna try this almond milk. 
It's warm, so I might not have a full-on review of it because I'd rather try it cold, but you don't have to put it in the fridge until you open it, and I wanted to really do that, so I'm going to get me a glass, and we're going to try it. Don't make the mistake I did and not read the instructions, because right on the box it says to shake well before you so and you can't shake it after you take the tab off because it leaks up the top. Alright, so now we got it poured in the glass, we're going to give it a try. Almond milk, vanilla flavored. I really like it. And it's not cold, and I like it when it's warm. It doesn't taste weird or nothing. You do taste the almond nut, so if you don't like to taste nuts in your drink, that sounded bad. If you don't like to taste almonds or peanuts or whatever in your drink, don't get a nut milk. That's hard to say with a straight face. Anyway, definitely recommend it. It's going to be even better after it gets in the fridge. That's going to wrap up our taste testing of our low-calorie snacks that we got from Dollar Tree. Now we're going to head over and talk about what we have coming up in this new series on my YouTube channel. Back at the desk, editing this video and fixing to wrap it up, but I wanted to talk about what we have in the upcoming videos of this series that I'm starting. They're not going to all be bunched together, so the next video probably won't be a series video from this series. It could be. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'll keep you guys updated on all that, but I don't want to jam-pack it all into one. I'd like to kind of spread it out as a series and have my other stuff in there too for the people that are here for the running and the vlogs and all that. But I'll keep you updated on how I'm going to do that. This isn't just going to be limited to Dollar Tree. It could be Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, grocery store, anywhere. And I'm thinking for two of the episodes, it'll be a two-part series. The first part is where we go into, say, Dollar Tree, and we get a haul for a dinner or a lunch or whatever, and then show you guys what we get, what the calories are in it. And then in the next video, we cook that meal and do a taste test, what it turned out like and all that, versus a more expensive meal you could get from another place. So I'm thinking about doing that, and I have some other plans in there as well. Also wanted to update you guys, the videos are going to get better because I have something on the way I'm very excited about, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until it gets here, and I'll show you guys. Super stoked about it. Ordered it yesterday. Beyond excited, so stay tuned for that. Before I wrap up the video here, I'm going to do a short shout-out segment. All right, so now for my shout-out segment real quick, I want to give a big shout-out to my brother and fellow YouTuber, Tommy Miller, a.k.a. Mr. Blue. He's doing awesome. He's wanting to grow his subscriber count, so go over and check out his channel. You can type in the search Tommy Miller, a.k.a. Mr. Blue, Mr. Blue, Tommy Miller, whatever. I'll link him in the description down below. That'll be much easier. Just go down there and click on the link to his channel and check him out. He does gaming videos. He does vlogs. He does it all, and it's really awesome, and he's a good friend of mine. So head over and check him out and show him some support. I think that's going to wrap it up for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps out a lot. Go ahead and go down there and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. What's holding you back? We've got so much awesome content on the way. You're not going to want to miss it. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. And we will see you guys next time.